Pisces, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now, this is from March 3rd until the 9th. Now, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You are actually wondering as a mother, or you are actually thinking about your mother at this moment. Uh, it seems like there is a relationship that you still want to work out with. Oh. Pisces, it seems like you will be. Huh, getting back together with a water sign. But that this person is not really going to last long. Are not really going to be staying because I feel like they're going to be leaving soon. Now, there are a lot of things that you are actually thinking or planning or, you know, anticipating as a mother, or you are also thinking more about your own mother as well. Communications, it seems like this needs to be improved this week as you will be a little bit more ill tempered and, uh, you know, aggressive. And uh, a little bit impatient, okay? Impetuous as well. And uh, don't try to antagonize some people around you just because of your, you know, the things that you're currently de uh, dealing with on your own. Now, there is a water sign around you that you really want to work things out with and that you really want to be with with this person, okay? Now, either this is an earth sign or a water sign, okay? Either way. But you really want to make this relationship work between the two of you. So you will be doing some other, uh, you know, stuff and offers and uh, some other, you know, gestures that hopefully, you know, you're hoping for them to, to appreciate at least. Now, you will also try to um, be a little bit more happy, you know. Uh, this part of the walls that you've been like putting up. You know, the thing here is, if you will keep on raising your walls up and if you will try to make somebody, you know, stay out of your zone stay or stay out of your circle, this person will just, you know, move out of your life or m move away altogether because they feel like that they will never ever be a part of your life and you will just be stuck in the past. And because of this, you will get a broken heart or you will have a heartbreak this week and you will you know you have to realize to yourself whatever it is that you're doing to other people because you are so afraid of getting hurt that you are just trying i know that you're just trying to protect yourself from being hurt but this is not really the right way for you to deal with that okay and the more you think about hurt or the more you think about you know like getting cheated on or being left out or something like that the more it will happen um, there are some other things and there are some other ways for you to deal with all of those and definitely not keeping your walls up. Okay. Now, there is somebody who really loves you, but I feel like you are so afraid of taking a chance or you're so afraid of gambling or, uh, you know, like putting your all into this person because you have been so hurt and disappointed and uh, you know like you were cut in half or in pieces of somebody who just actually broke you so you're so afraid of trusting again if you feel like this okay if you're feeling that you're you're so afraid to trust and that you feel like you can't really give your all then it means that you're not yet ready for a relationship okay and even though this person is really in love with you that they really want to be a part of your world and if you will keep on like acting like this, then you're just sending the mixed signals, okay? Of course, that if you will be placing yourself in that person's shoes, then they will also get confused. It's like you want me, but you don't want me. Or it's like you want to be with me, but you just want me to stay outside, you know? So 
it's not that they are intentionally gonna break your heart or it's not that they will intentionally leave you but they feel like you still need more time to heal okay and they're gonna come back I'm not saying that they are just going to, you know, like leave you behind and they've changed their mind or they're going to have a change of heart, okay? Be in a relationship because you really you're really in love and not because you're so afraid of being alone or not because that you just want to have a company with you. Because this person, I feel like they really have real feelings for you, but you just need to fix up your own issues as well. Okay? So and there are some things that you also need to assess in a situation, especially your mode of communication. That sometimes you keep on saying some things that is a little bit, you know, um, different from how you move or different from how you actually show them. And that's why they just don't know how to act or where to place themselves into your life. Okay? It's like you're letting them into your, to your house or to your into your own private place but it's like you, they just need to stay outside the door and hmm, it looks like there is a good opportunity of uh, you know for uh, in the financial front with the fire sign and the younger earth sign that you will be working with and if you're trying to win a client a deal or a contract definitely this week is going to be very very good for you Okay, so communications will also be very good when it comes to your workplace and when it comes to your career. And um, I feel like there will be some dramas that will be, you know, that will be happening in your workplace. But I feel like this is something that is not really that big. Okay. Um, you're also waiting for a lump sum of money to come. Okay. There's also a fire sign person that you want to stay away from or that you want to you know protect yourself from all right so anyway that's it for you for this week pisces and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you